Following last year's high school massacre in Parkland, Florida, the concern by parents continues to grow over the safety of their kids. And moms and dads are fighting back by protecting their kids with bullet resistant backpacks. The question is, do they work? NBC 15's Darwin Singleton put this product to the test in tonight's reality check. Pure chaos. <laughs> Students hiding, helpless, horrified. Just stay on the line, do not hang up, stay on the phone with me. It seems like these that are motivating parents to do anything they can to protect their children at school. Tell her to pray. Tell her to pray for strength. The Parkland, Florida shooting rampage left 17 faculty members and students dead. People want this protection for their children. Well, it's, a, it's an option. Barb Carpenteri is with CW Security Solutions in Vinton, Virginia. His store is a one-stop shopping destination for personal protection items. Well, this is our, our lightweight ballistic body armor. They also make and sell bullet-resistant Kevlar inserts for backpacks. As you can see, it's very flexible, Viable. yes. Mm -hmm. And this comes in different sizes, of course. And this stops 44 caliber and below, along with these two. These are all lightweight. Carpentary says these are the most popular inserts, and they start around $100. If something does happen, you know, you could use it. It's twofold. You could use it like a shield up front, or you could have it on your back like this. But can they stop a bullet? Warning. No body armor is bulletproof. We're showing you the test of a less than one pound Kevlar insert that can easily slide into a child's backpack. It cost about $100. So um, this is an example of uh, everyday backpack. We've got some notebooks and a catalog uh, or would be a textbook. And then in the back you have a backpack plate. The insert was set out about 40 yards at a shooting range. Matthew Tyler opened fire with a nine millimeter handgun. <laughs> Did not penetrate. Did not penetrate. Nothing on the paper. Look, nothing on the paper. It did what it was supposed to do. Then, a test of what's become the weapon of choice for <laughs> shooters, an AR-15. This time, one, two, three, four. You got it. The lightweight Kevlar insert was no match for the assault rifle. The issue with the AR is the energy that it that it creates when it impacts. So this being blown out, that so is it all. it shatters. Yeah. It has a huge energy wave that follows it. Back in Benton, Carpentary says demand for these inserts typically runs higher following school shootings. He admits nothing's foolproof, but. Something's better than nothing. Well, if you have a story you want us to investigate or an issue that needs to be addressed by our advocacy team, let us know. We'll get you those answers. Yeah, call our reality check hotline. The number is 877-315-7268.